What is going on guys? I am back again to another video. We are doing some rough fishing. So I'm out here, I'm on the mouth of the Mississippi River on a, at a park. I haven't fished out here in like 10 years, but it's very good. Uh, it's really good weather, it's 70 plus degrees. It's been 30, or I'm sorry, 60 plus for the last three, four days. So this water should be warming up and I know this current's coming out towards the main uh, Mississippi River. So all this warm, warmer water is coming out and it's attracting a lot of these fish coming in. So we're just kind of working on the edges of the mouth where that current line hits really hard and kind of has those little tornado uh, pools of water that comes in, you know, like a tornado. So that's basically what I'm doing is I'm kind of casting out there or sometimes I'll cast right in the middle where they're running through here um, up to the dam. So there's a dam actually up there that they run up to. But uh, right now I believe they should be in here. Um, they're not running too far into there yet. Uh, the fish we're trying to catch is red horse, carp, anything that really bites. We're using night crawlers. So uh, use a size four. That's what I use right here. A size four circle hook. Uh, octopus, I'm sure there's better ones out there. Like I said, it's been 10 years since I've fished raw fish. So I'm gonna do a lot of that this year. So I'm pretty excited, but this is what I'd be using right here. Um, it's a size four uh, circle hook octopus. And I already got one set up. So I'm just kind of showing what I was using here um, for today. And obviously later I'll be using this for, you know, catfish to lip them. Makes it a lot more easier and uh, just to handle and handle the fish and stuff like that. And, get the hook out of course got pliers and then uh this is kind of the bait we're using here so we're using baby shad uh this is for later at night that is so we're using night crawlers right now until it gets to close to dark might still use night crawlers just increase the size hook for catfish um and put a bigger uh night crawler on otherwise we got these as well i've been uh trying to use you know i i know it's not as effective early season night crawlers are the best way to uh, target catfish this time of year but once it warms up more and more can be very effective and when you catch them at the right moment at the right time um, when they do want to have cut bait it's very very uh, beneficial so I just got the regular cut bait uh, and then I got the baby shed which I might start with that first and then work with the cut bait if they uh, start hitting and I'm just getting smaller ones try to go bigger size but and then these are really beneficial just to cut your cut bait or the baby shed uh, however you want or if you want to buy suckers um, obviously the fresher the suckers are the better it is um so you always want to get live suckers and cut them up in um you know inch inch and a half uh chunks you can use the head the body or the tail my best luck in the past that i remember is using the body but it to each of their own you know but and every river works differently and they just have their moods where they want the head they want the tail or they want the body but overall the body works the best but that's for later tonight hopefully we get on them i'm excited to use the new saint Croix rod i got a seven foot medium fast action rod. It pretty much does the work for everything, for smallies, largies, catfish, red horse, carp. I got 12 pound 832 suffix with uh, uh, just re uh, regular suffix line, 12 pound as well right here. So actually this is eight pounds since I'm doing a uh, red horse, carp, things like that, but with a smaller hook. But obviously I'm gonna switch the, the line up here with the hook um, from the swivel uh, to 12 pound suffix once once we go out through the catfish, but now I got the no roll weights. These I think personally are the best. One ounce is usually the ones you want to use. Um, unless you're in really hard current, you have to use one and a half, two, or even higher, but the, we're not going to get in the current that much. We're going to on the edge of it. And these no roll rates are awesome. They're the best when it comes to like current and it keeps a, that weight flat and it keeps it from catching the, the current. So it's keeping it where you want to cast it and keep it in place so those fish can find it. And it's just a lot more effective. Um, for river fishing that is of course a swivel and then you got about a foot and a half of line to the circle weight you don't want too long but you don't also don't want too short as well if you want want to give enough line extra line here so it has a little time for them to suck it in and then you get that hook set and usually with these circle hooks you don't have to yank you just reel it in i'm sure the guys are if they're watching this know what i'm talking about i'm just talking about the people that don't don't do this kind of stuff it's very effective uh you don't want to use straight uh hooks you, know, you want to use circle hooks for the most part um, and usually it sets the hook itself so but yeah you don't want too long either so where they suck it in and they have too much time to suck it or spit it back out too so I'd say about 16 inches a little more than 12 inches of line um, I'd say about you know 16 18 inches um, is plenty no more no less so but anyway that's what I'm doing here I'm excited to use this rod I haven't got a fish yet with it so I'm excited, let's get to it. 
that's my setup. That's the circle hook, that's what it looks like. And all I'm doing is just I'm covering that whole entire hook that this Nightcrawler wants me to. Man, these things are crazy. You really want to just, you don't want to extra, unless you're catfishing with a bigger hook, you kind of wrap around the hook and then put more in. And they should have more uh, night crawlers on it. But for suckers, they have small mouths. You don't want too much on there. It's kind of like bluegill fishing in a way. You just want that much. It's covering the entire hook. You don't need much. And then you snip it right at the end right there. That's how you do it. I don't know if you can see that well. I'm using a GoPro, probably doesn't focus very well, but that's pretty much how you do it. Just cover the hook like that, maybe a little more extra on the end of it, but you really want to keep that hook present. So when it does take it, it, it can catch onto its mouth. They have little small mouths, common carp, red horse, and maybe we'll catch some catfish with this little guy too, but might actually catch some smallies too. There's uh, plenty of them out here as well, but that's all I'm doing. So I'm going to go ahead and get it out there. Also, you want your drag just, you know, fairly tight. Not too tight, but fairly tight where it can still pull line. So you don't snap your line if it's a big one, but you do want enough so it has that tension to pop that hook in its mouth. And basically, you just pick it out of the rod holder and reel it in. It's really that easy. You don't have to set the hook or anything. Just reel it in or just a nice steady pull. That's all you got to do. But I'm going to try to get way out there. I don't know if you see that, but the current line's way out there and it has like these little circle tornado pulls. And so you want to get as close to that as possible. There we go. That's it. Oh, another thing too. Once I get it real quick, a lot of people use, when I was doing this a long time ago, I used to use these kind of sticks for rod holders. You got that V, you want to find a nice stick, but it's something that you can push that, you know, into the ground and have something to sit against. So that can be effective. Obviously that's the old school way, but honestly, it's totally worth just going on Amazon. Or if you're lucky, you can find a store that has these, uh, but you got two or three different really good rod holders out there that will last you a lifetime. And they stick to the ground a lot easier. They're metal uh, and they're only like 10 bucks, 10, 12 bucks or 12 bucks for two of them or something like that. Super cheap, lasts you a lifetime unless you lose it, which I probably will. So I'll probably have to get more, but, <laughs> but anyway, it's really that easy. That's all you gotta do. And uh, yeah, especially when you're uh, in areas where you don't have sticks, you got a lot of rock, you got a lot of, um, and you can't get that stick in the in the ground because it's rock or it's just hard bottom. It's it's very inefficient, wastes you a lot of time, puts you a lot of effort and work and stress. So I definitely suggest just get them. It's worth it. I know a lot of people just brush it off, but I'm telling you, it's definitely worth it. Go get some rod holders off Amazon. Hopefully uh, on this side it'll work. So we're gonna have to switch angles here. I'm gonna try to just fling this. Nightcrawler looks good. I'm actually gonna just fling it where that soapy stuff is. That should be good. There we go. Oh, got one. Got one. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. This is big, guys. Oh yeah, we're good on this one. Oh yeah, come on. Oh yeah, this is big. -hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh yeah, that was quick. This is big, guys. Oh, I can't run, don't run, don't run. Oh God. Oh, it's gonna get around that. Oh, don't snap my line. Come on, come on. Oh. <laughs> This is tough because this dang brick or this cement block. Oh 
man, this thing's big, I think. I need him to get him over there. I hope he, I'm hoping he'll... Oh, is he turning? There we go. Yes, 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 yes. There we go. <laughs> that was fun. It's got to be a common carb. I mean, there's no way it's a red horse. This is heavy, though. It feels heavy. It could be a big channel, but I'd assume it's a big carp. You can just hear those big splashes. Oh, man. <laughs> that was awesome. He's in a good spot now. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, yeah. Big head chicks. Oh, yeah. Big, big. This is a giant. For, for raying around here, you know, that's a big, that's a big boy. Oh yeah, come on, get around here. Get him, oh, come on, oh. Oh, oh man, my wrist is sore. Oh man, this thing's, oh. <laughs> He wants to get low, kind of like what those walleyes do. Oh man. Oh, big. Oh, ho, ho, ho. man. Look at this, guys. Look at that. Oh, that's heavy. I don't know how heavy that is, but I do got a scale. I am kind of curious how big these guys are. That is giant. That is a nice fish. And this is what's nice about these circle hooks, guys. It gets them right in here. It's right here, right in the edge. It set itself. I didn't even have to set the hook. It was already ready to go. That's the perks about these guys. Big. I'm gonna put a scale on it. Reset, it's at zero. Let's see what we got here. Thirteen point nine seven. So pretty much fourteen. Oh. All right. There we go. <laughs> that is awesome. Get a good look at it. All right, we're getting back. He's just fine. Woo! <laughs> oh. Mm. Oh, that was fun. I don't like, I know people like to shoot them, but I sure as heck like to catch them. Hopefully get a red horse now. That's my another, that's, if we catch another one like that, which it could be even bigger ones in here for sure. That was a nice sucker for this area though. But I know there's some really big ones out here. Man, I'm, either I'm out of shape or that was just a really good fight. So I'm actually breathing like crazy right now. As you can probably hear in my, you can probably hear my heartbeat through this microphone. But yeah. That's all it takes to catch big fish like that. If you guys want to get into catching carp, all you need is something. It's just like this. It's all you need. A little guy. Just a little one. Far off. About 16 inches, 18 inches, foot and a half. Maybe a little less. With the no roll weight. And it just slides down. It's flat. So it keeps it right um, under that current. So that current's pretty heavy right in there. It has another thing too is like you don't necessarily have to. What I said earlier, get on that tornado uh, current line. You don't have to get around the heart of the edge of the Mississippi. They're going to run this this time of year in the spring, and they're going to be running up and down. And I know like if you can find like all that soapy, that soapy, uh, I don't know. It, it just looks really soapy. You know, you can find like current line where it has all that uh, white uh, foam. Kind of looks, you know, I always say it looks, you know, that soapy foam or whatever. I don't know what you want to say. I don't even know what that guy I'm even saying. Uh, <laughs> that fish got me going. But, uh, yeah, it's, it, those things, things, you know, do pretty well, too, if you can find, uh, uh, it, it, I don't know if it's just something that they like because it's coverage or whatever. They feel safer to being under that. But you find some soapy water, like, inside of a current line that's hung, hanging up along, and it's just creating all that foam 
or whatever. Uh, if you get in there, that's can be really effective for any, really anything, carp, red horse, channels, and for sure, smallies. That, that's very effective, I know that, but I don't know if they just feel safe or what, but I know uh, places, uh, things like that, if you go out here and you, 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 know, you see something like that that looks promising, um, that can help too, I guess, so. I don't know, anyway, that was fun. Let's catch another one. It's dark now. I figure I'll just give it another hour and see what happens here. That one fish already satisfied me right there. It was 14 pounds. I'll just give it a 14 pounds, pretty much was. It was very, very slightly under, but yeah, it was a good fight. I had fun. Got my new rod into work. A lot of work, actually. That was a really good start for this, uh, for this rod. Hey, if you guys like this, please like and subscribe. If you want to check out my other videos, all there is is pretty much just crappy videos this year, <laughs> which is pretty ridiculous how many I've done, so I apologize for that, but that's all we can do right now. And of course, river fishing, which I'll probably be doing this all year round. I'm definitely getting back into it. So it was a good time catching that fish. And I would love to catch many more and channels and red horse and definitely smallmouth bass out here. So I'll definitely be doing a lot of that along these river systems. And I don't know, it's just fun doing bank fishing out in the river. You got a lot more things you can do and explore. There's so many different parks and um, just backwaters. I got waders you can walk out and explore with. and. It just makes it a lot more adventurous and memorable, in my opinion, anyway. So I'll probably do a lot of more of these than just, you know, boat fishing and stuff, but.